Tropical storm Debbie made landfall as a hurricane in Florida. It's now being blamed for at least four deaths in the state. Now Georgia and South Carolina are bracing for catastrophic flooding. WDN Shannon Halligan has the latest. Yeah, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis declared a state of emergency for 61 of the state's 67 counties. A mandatory curfew is now in place in many coastal cities and towns in Georgia. Tropical Storm Debbie's outer bands were lashing Tybee Island Monday. Residents east of Savannah were bracing for the potential of a storm surge on top of heavy rainfall. We were looking at unprecedented levels of rain and flooding here on Tybee. From what I understand, this is a 1,000 year flood event. Record setting rain was forecast to cause flash flooding up into North Carolina. As much as 30 inches of rainfall was expected in some areas, according to the National Hurricane Center. It's scary. It's scary for sure. Um, and speaking to everyone I've talked to, no one at this point sees it as um, a potential evacuation situation. So hopefully, you know, we won't have to leave Tybee, but, you know, I'm going to follow the crowd. Debbie made landfall in Florida on Monday as a Category 1 hurricane. It's been blamed for at least four deaths in the state. A boater reported missing near Tampa was still unaccounted for. Right now, we're worried about our friend Brian. And we found his dog on his boat. He's got a little dog like this. And then we don't know where he is. Local leaders in Savannah worried flooding could happen in areas that don't usually get high water if Debbie stalls out over the city. With winds and rainfall expected to worsen overnight, authorities issued a curfew from 10 Monday night until 6 Tuesday morning. This is not a um, martial law type thing, but it's designed to help us to move our system around the county safer. Right? That's what the purpose for the curfew is to get folks out of the way of what you've never seen before. City officials said that they will assess the situation early tomorrow and decide how and when to reopen roads and lift the curfew. Live in the newsroom, Shannon Halligan, WGN News.